Hi, I'm Tom Hallenstein with LexJet. Today we're going to go over how to change your Series 3 Indigo Press from ILP 030 or 040 chemistry to the DP 680 chemistry. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to give me a call. If you are converting from ILP 030 or 040 to DP 680, extensive cleaning is required to avoid the chemical reaction and extensive contamination that could occur. This process takes about two hours, but will help you avoid damaging your HP Indigo digital press. The parts you'll need to complete the cleaning are an IOP upgrade kit that must be installed by HP, a replacement drain and primer pump hoses, and a second primer tank. It should be noted that you should have one primer tank dedicated to the 030-040 chemistry and one dedicated to the DP680 chemistry. It is not necessary, but if you don't, you'll have to spend an additional hour to clean the entire inside of the tank, including the floats, wires, and cables inside the tank. All of these can be purchased easily from HP. Here are all the steps that we will cover in this video. Drain primer, fill primer tank with hot water and run wash cycle, drain that water once complete, fill both tanks with new hot water and run wash cycle again, clean rollers and primer tray, Replace both the primer drain hoses and pump hose. Replace primer tank with new tank if you have one. Otherwise, clean the primer tank thoroughly inside and out and clean the wires and floats as best as possible. This will take about an hour. Fill new primer tank and wash tank with hot water and run third wash cycle. Drain dirty water and fill primer tank with DP680 and wash tank with deionized water. The first step is to drain and clean the solution tank. Before proceeding, make sure that both ILP LEDs are green. If either of them are orange, this means there's primer or water in the hoses and you do not want to remove either tank. At the bottom of each tank is a drainage pipe. Remove the hose from the ILP and drain each tank into separate 5 gallon buckets. You can lift the tanks and tilt them to get all the liquids out. The next step is to pour 2 gallons of hot water into the cleaning solution tank and primer tank. Run the wash ILP wizard from the control panel. The third step is to dump out the water from the wash and primer tanks. The fourth step is to refill them both with new hot water and run the wash cycle a second time. The fifth step is to remove and clean the ILP rollers and the primer tray. This is a necessary step to avoid primer buildup. Before cleaning the rollers and primer tray, you should be sure that the wash cycle is complete and change the status to standby. Next, remove the rollers above the internal coating rollers and open the latches of the ILP coating rollers. Take note in the sequence you remove the rollers as you will reverse the sequence to return them. Once you have carefully removed the ILP coating rollers, you can clean them with a lint-free wipe and warm water. If primer is dried on the coating rollers, take them to a well-ventilated area and soak them in isopropyl alcohol for a few minutes, then wipe with a lint-free wipe. Be sure to clean every visible area of the rollers, striving to make them look brand new. Once the rollers are completely clean, we need to clean the ILP primer tray before replacing them. To do this, use warm water and isopropyl alcohol, along with a lint-free wipe. Be sure to check that the tray's return slot is not clogged if needed. Wipe these components with a lint-free wipe soaked with isopropyl alcohol. Once the ILP primer tray is clean and looking new again, you can replace the coating rollers by reversing the steps you took to remove them. The sixth step is to replace your hoses. To replace your hoses, you should be sure that the press is still in standby mode. You should replace all the drain hoses that are attached to the press. You should also replace a primer pump hose as well. It is recommended that you lubricate the hose to prolong its lifespan. Attach both ends of the hose to the ILP and fit inside the threading path. Once inside the threading path, push the pump handle back up to secure it in place. It is important to note that some presses were shipped with a black primer hose and others will have a white primer hose. The functions are identical regardless of the color of the hose. The seventh step is to replace the primer tank dedicated to the 030-040 chemistry with a primer tank dedicated to the DP680 chemistry. Again, having a separate tank dedicated to each chemistry will save you at least an hour of cleaning. It is recommended that you keep the hoses that you recently replaced with the primer tank for that chemistry, as you can reuse them if you switch back to the ILP030 or ILP040 chemistry. You should have a set of drain hoses, a primer pump hose, and a primer tank for each chemistry. 
It is recommended that you label each one of these with what chemistry they are dedicated to as to not confuse them. If you don't have a separate primer tank, then you will have to completely clean the inside of the tank, including the wires and floats. There are a lot of delicate pieces inside the tank, so please be careful, but make sure they are completely clean. This will take about an hour. Once the tank is clean, replace it in the press. The next step is to fill the newly cleaned tank or replacement tank and wash tank with hot water. Run the wash cycle for a third time. The final step is to drain the water out of both tanks. Fill the primer tank with a DP680 chemistry and the wash tank with deionized water. It is important to note that if you are running the ILP030 or ILP040 chemistry that you use the MCL1188 in the wash tank. If you are running the DP680 chemistry, then you should fill the wash tank with deionized water. You are now ready to start using the press with the DP680 chemistry. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.